Okay. We're going up the ladder into the guest quarters attic. And it's radiant panel OSB, that's a good thing. But this ladder is not insulated. So that is not insulated. So this is a heat sink going up into the attic. Another thing to note about this ladder is that the framing was improperly anchored with screws, sheetrock screws to be exact, instead of nails. Nails have much more sheer strength. Screws are faster and tighter and they do not have the sheer strength that nails do. And they pop and they break and ladders fall. So we've got between eight and six inches of cellulose, loose fill cellulose, that's actually good. If you're thinking of fiberglass insulation, you'd expect to see more, but that's that's not bad. This ladder should be lined so that the insulation doesn't fall out onto the floor. Should have been lined. Okay, there's our exhaust vents for the attic. Our air intake vents are around the soffits, and we do not have any soffit vents. Soffit vents are not present here. Okay, we've got an electric indoor air handler. It's about 14 years old. Uh, that's called a shallow P-trap. Most manufacturers uh, aren't real keen on that. And also that drain line should have been insulated. And it wasn't. And it wasn't. We're missing some insulation. Over here where the air duct connects to the, the plenum. Right there. We got air leaks over there. Don't need an infrared camera for that. The duct is not supposed to be sagging more than half an inch. And we do not have a care and use manual. Well, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We got one more treat up here for everybody. One more treat. There's always one. Oh, there you are. There's always one more. That right there is the exhaust vent for the bathroom exhaust, and it does not go. <laughs> it, it just stops right there. It just it just stops right there. Vents into the attic. <laughs> 